Hello. In this lesson, we will see what is the generic formula that is being used for the calculation of the area of a trapezoid. This is a step-by-step -step procedure that decomposes the initial problem into smaller problems. Let's start with the next trapezoid. We start the method by bringing the two heights from the edges of the smaller base to the bigger base. In our case, we have H1 and H2 from base B to base A. As we can see, the initial trapezoid shape is split into three separate shapes. One is the left more right triangle. Two is the next perpendicular rectangle. Three is the right more right triangle. Thus, in order to calculate the whole area of the trapezoid, it is enough to calculate the corresponding areas of the two triangles and the one perpendicular rectangle. Before we start the procedure, we notice that H1 is equal to H2, thus we can substitute both H1 and H2 with H. Let's continue with some mathematics. The trapezoid's area is the summation of the three separate areas, as we explained before. Thus, the trapezoid's area is equal to the left triangle area, plus the central perpendicular rectangle area, plus the rightmost right triangle area. We proceed with the necessary substitutions, thus the left more triangle area is H multiplied by X1 divided by 2. The central perpendicular rectangle area is, B multiplied by H. And the rightmost right triangle area, is equal with H multiplied by X2 divided by 2. After doing some mathematics, we conclude the next relationship. But, if we take a more careful look at this relationship and bear in mind, that the base A is equal to X1 plus X2 plus B, then the relationship becomes equal to H divided by 2 multiplied by A plus B. In conclusion, we found the general formula which is used to calculate the area of any trapezoid.